Hello everyone, I have another system to show you. It's called the M3, Game Box Power M3 on the box, or it's also known as the SUP or the Nintendo SUP 2020. Not that glorious of a package. 3.5 LED, which uh, really should be screen or whatever, LED screen. Nothing really exciting here, Game Box Power. It does show uh, multiple colors here. I would love to see it in white. So I've only seen it in all these colors except for green and white. I happen to get the red. And so here it is. I already took this out and stuff. So I put it all back together for dramatic effect. So you won't get it like this. You'll get it a little bit more wrapped up than, than what you see here. So here it is. Pretty basic looking, not that exciting to look at, to be honest with you. You're used to seeing these systems. This looks like a cheaper one. This looks like one that you'd be like, eh, I don't know. But I'm here to tell you um, what it does have, what it doesn't have, so you don't have to take a guess. But I agree, it kind of looks cheap. It's very, it even feels kind of, the plastic, I mean, it's a, it's a good plastic, but it just, it does feel kind of a little bit cheapish. Looks like something you just buy for your kid or just, you know, say go have at it, play some games. So anyway, so that's, that. it comes with the standard AV cable, some instructions and charging cable. No big deal. I won't go through those. They look fine. I will say the AV cable that it comes with, it was uh, generously long. So that's a first. I, I usually, they're usually long, but that one's like, they really went out. So they really want you to connect it to a TV. So anyway, we'll get rid of this box and we'll put that there. So again, it is, it's pretty basic. Also, you might see these on the internet and it might say like SUP. It's SUP right over there. I don't know what that's about. I guess it's to make it cool. I don't know. Maybe it means, I think, I think stuff is a, like paddling or something like that. Wading in the water. I don't know. Anyway, so this one doesn't have it on there, but you might see the word SUP on it. SUP. There's several systems that have SUP. This is one of them that might have, have it. I think it looks silly. So I'm glad I didn't, I didn't get that. But anyway, so you might see that. The, this is uh, pretty basic. So what we got on the bottom is we have the charging port and we have what I thought was headphones. It is not, that's just for the AV. Uh, sadly, nowhere on here is anything for, for headphones. So if you think you can play this quietly by yourself, um, you can't, you can lower the volume. There is a volume knob. Points for having a little volume knob, I love when they do that, especially when you can, if you're very specific about the volume you want, I mean, you can really, it's a potentiometer in here, I'm guessing, where you can just get it just to the right volume. So that's good. Power switch and the SD over here, which is nice, which I also look for. So it comes normally with, oh crap. Wow, the thing just went flying across the room. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. All right, so it normally comes with a four, four gig SD card with the games on it. I just increased it to 16 for my evil purposes. So let me try to put this back in here. Yeah, that thing went flying. Pretty good ejection system there, I will say. All right, so there we go. Anyway, so it comes with, it comes with that. Screen size is 3.5 inches. The battery, it's like two, three hours, I think, I believe, of uh, playtime. Not bad, not great, but... So you have that, and you have uh, multiple buttons here, which is impressive to me. It's like, okay, that's a lot of buttons, that's great. You have this weird thing, it looks like an analog stick. It feels like an analog stick, but no, I don't think any of the games that it comes with, any of the systems that it plays as analog so it's not real true analog but it feels like it it's actually i think they call it a rocker i don't know if that's an official real i just call it analog stick but they call it a rocker and it's not it feels a little cheap but it, it's not bad it actually it's it moves smoothly it's got a good resistance to it 
and you have the speaker right here, which I'll tell you right now, I hate the speaker. It's lousy. All games sound lousy on this thing. I hate to say it, but it's just the way it is. I don't know if replacing, if you could, if I took this apart and replaced the speaker, if it's the speaker itself, the system, I don't know, but, but that's, that's that. So let's, uh, I guess that's all I can really say about it. It's, there's really not much more to this other than the games. So let's get to the games. So what are the, one of the things they've done, which I think you can play around with on the SD card is they've taken four of the arcade games and put them like had like this little thing for them and then they have the emulators down below so as you can see it plays NES, NES games Game Boy Advance games Mega Drive or Genesis games Super Famicom or uh, Super Nintendo and MAME which is really it's not really when you think of MAME you think of arcade but it doesn't play all MAME games. I've tested it. Maybe someone has better luck than me. But the only thing I can get working on is, is uh, Final Burn Alpha games. So it should be FBA. But whatever. They do, the, the, they do work, the, the Final Burn Alpha games. Most of these systems, I don't know, maybe they run better. But most of these kind of systems have, though you're going to see like Cadillacs and Dinosaurs, almost every one of them. A game like that or like punisher those are final burn alpha games those run smooth pretty smoothly on even these these systems so that doesn't surprise me at all but yeah so when you see mame it's it's just making you think you can play like oh, oh i can play mr do or i can play dig dug it's it, that's not the case so but i could be wrong i could be wrong i haven't had luck with it so let's get to the games i'm just going to go right to nintendo first what I did, and so, so here they are. So the ones that you see with the numbers are the ones that were included. Anything that doesn't have a number is something that I included. The ones that it comes with are not too bad. Donkey Kong Jr., stuff like that's good. But if there's certain games like that they're afraid to put on here, like Mario Brothers, that sort of thing, I just put them on myself. So, But the, these are decent games. I can't really... These are okay, but yeah, they're, they come with... It comes with a, quite a bit of Nintendo games. See, I can go through, and just by pushing the, the rocker, I can go through them all just by, by holding it. So now now we're into territory where, where I started putting my own in, and Master Blaster. Well, who needs it? When you get Master Blaster, you get everything. Master Blaster. So this game, Master Blaster is awesome. It came with it. That's the last one on the list. And you just push one of the buttons. The thing about having all these buttons here, you don't know which one does what, depending on which system. But for the most part, you can just kind of play around and, and guess. So with this, with Nintendo, with the, with the Nintendo Entertainment System games, sound sounds okay. It's, it's, it's okay. Again, I can't put headphones on to see if it would be even better on headphones. There's no, no jack. But overall... It looks good. I mean, it, I mean, it sounds good. Oh, also, I'll, I'll mention it. And it does have, you're able to save your, all for all the systems, you're able to save your games and load them later, which most people want, especially with a, with a game like Master Blaster, which you're not going to finish in one setting. I certainly remember as a kid having to go to school, and I put my fan blowing on my Nintendo as I went to school, hoping the thing wouldn't be... Burnt up uh, when I came home, so I could continue playing the game. There was no save feature on this, which was ridiculous. There was no way to save it. There was no code. Um, so overall, it sounds like it sounds like I expect, and it looks great. Um, I'm playing horribly. I actually almost beat this game, and I'm, I, I don't even know if I can get by the first level here, but. Um, it's a little bit weird with the buttons. You're used to the buttons next to each other, but the way they do it is the, it's, the t it's the first two up and down, um, which are Y, A, and Y. It should be A and B. I wish you could change that, but you can't. So that's a big complaint with me, that you can't change, you can't change them or that they're not next to each other. If you're used to, if you played this game as much as me, you have a certain style you're used to holding down certain buttons or getting ready to push certain buttons but it's not that way anymore it's like playing a whole new game really but you get used to it it's not too bad 
Um, but overall, I've played a bunch of Nintendo games on here. It's not. It's really not. It's nothing too bad. I think it's a little bit of slowness. There's definitely a little screen tearing. I don't think it's horrible. I've seen worse. But overall, not too bad. So, and I died. Okay. So, to get out of these, you push this middle, this middle button, which you end up pushing that a lot. You end up pushing that, no, not, the, not that one, this one. Okay, you end up pushing this a lot, but, um, and exit. So, I think now in the middle button? No. See, that, that's the one thing about this, you're always guessing when what button brings you to what menu, so. Um, another thing, uh, this has Contra, shocker, all these systems have Contra. I don't know if that's a bad thing, and maybe if you see if like Contra is like one of the main, it's like right off the main screen, maybe that's a sign that it might not be good, but I swear like 99% of the stuff that comes out of China, out of all these systems, has to have Contra for some reason. Hey, is that the new portable? Well, yes it is. Yeah, make sure the units all have Contra on them, okay? Well, it's, I think they put the, the best games... The, the ones that look most impressive on here on that main menu, which is fine. I'm not going to play Contra. I'm not going to play Contra. Okay. So, sorry. I already played it in another, another uh, review. So, so that, that's not too bad. So, so let's just go right into Sonic Advance. That's a good, that's a good test for the Game Boy Advance. Game Boy Advance games require m much more. So let's just let's just see how it looks. Overall, so far it looks pretty good. Sounds okay, but I'm guessing it's gonna get worse from what I remember. Um, yeah, that already sounded. Oh, oh, yeah, it's pretty bad, sound-wise. But what I've noticed, if you're not a huge sound guy, it's not too bad. I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit. So, what I've noticed is the, the graphics look decent, the screen tearing's not s too horrible, but the sound, the sound is just horrible. I would say, I don't know, I don't know, would, I wouldn't get this if you really like Game Boy Advance games, I wouldn't get this. It's just not, it's not the full experience, it's, it's definitely, it just feels weird. Uh, it does feel a little slow. I, I don't know. I, I just, it just does not, it doesn't feel right. It feels, especially for a Sonic game, it should be fast. I'm going to see how fast I can go. I should have picked Sonic, but. Um, so, ah, oh, there's too much stuff in my way. So I want to go really fast here. Yeah, it doesn't, I don't know. It does, sort of. But it's choppy and the music is just horrible. And it's not, you know, it's this it's the system's fault for sure. I would say it's a little bit of both, but the the speaker isn't helping. But you could you can it's the music's slow and the music sounds tinny. It just sounds like the, the speaker costs like a cent to put together. Um, it's just not I don't wouldn't value this as a Game Boy Advance player at all. So We'll be done with that game. So I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna load up one of each system here. So um, Mega Drive, which is uh, Genesis. Um, yeah, let's do Splatterhouse. I don't even think I've even played Splatterhouse two. Splatterhouse one was great, but have I played two? I don't think so. But um, it's pretty much the same experience to me. It's. I think it's maybe it's a little bit better than. I think it's maybe a little bit better than uh, the Game Boy Advance. Um, you're pretty much getting that uh, Genesis experience. The music isn't too bad. It's still tinny. Yeah, I mean, this isn't too bad. This is what I remember for the most part. So, um, yeah, it, maybe it's a little bit... I don't know. Tell me what you think, but I think, I don't know. I, I don't think, it, it, it feels like it's a little slow. Is this a stick? Yes. All right. Whew. Yes. 
Yeah, this is a Splatterhouse game for sure. <laughs> so it's not too bad. It's still fun. Um, I think it's a little slow. I'm um, not a bad... Um, if you really like your Genesis games and you want a, uh, a cheap Genesis emulator. I mean, this system costs like 20, 20 bucks. So, pfft, and you can't... 20 bucks. Um, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Oh, you know. I don't complain too much about that. So, I don't know. I would say, for probably most games, I mean, I can try another one. Maybe I can try Sonic. Let's do... Let's do a regular Sonic game and see how it feels. I put too many games on here. Oh, man, forget that. No. Yeah, all right. Um, yeah, we'll do... Yeah, we'll do Sonic. Sonic Spinball? No, I'll do Sonic. Just regular Sonic. I thought I had an English version, but I don't think it, I don't think it matters too much. So that's that sounded good. The Sega. Mm, yeah, it's slow. Mm, uh, it's too bad, really. You could tell. You could tell that it's it's hurting. So again. It's not perfect. Uh, playable. It's not as bad as the Game Boy Advance, but it's certainly not. Yeah, I mean, it's it's struggling. That's too bad. Okay, so, yeah. <laughs> if you like Genesis, probably not a wise investment uh, either. So, that kind of failed. What are you going to do? All right, so now... Um, now we'll do the Super Nintendo, which I'm assuming will be just as bad. I did try it. All right, let's play Booger Man, I guess. I don't know. It's the fourth one on the list. For those of you who haven't seen this game, it's exactly what you'd expect from a game called Booger Man. But why do they call you Booger? I don't know. Yeah. It's actually kind of fun. I remember playing this in college. I remember having this in college. And uh, my roommate thought it was hilarious, uh, but he was high most of the time, so anything was hilarious. Anyway, so here we go. Flatulent swamps. You know you're in for some good times. All right. So, yeah. I'm sure someone's done a review on this whole game. It's, it's full of every possible gross thing you can do. farting and burping. I think you can, I think you hold the button down, you can burp. You can fling boogers. Yeah, you fling them boogers. You can burp. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, it was one of those games. It's a, it's fun, actually. But this, again, I'm having problems with the buttons. Like, what button does jump? Which button does farting? Oh, man. It feels slow. All right, what's happening? I never played this game. Okay, so, um, I don't know. It feels a little slow, the music. I don't know. It, it feels a little slow. I'm guessing this won't be the experience you want. Oh, God, yeah, it's super slow. This is probably the worst so far. Wow. You know, I probably want to play this game on a better on another system because this looks fun. But holy crap, what is happening? Okay, so it's pretty much unplayable. I think maybe some games would be okay, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't put your heart and soul into this one. Ugh. Okay, I want to get out of here. So that was pretty bad too. <laughs> so um, let's get back to the main menu. And then you have um, the main, the 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 final burn alpha. To be honest with you, these are great. Final fight, my favorite game. Um, I will stop playing this someday soon. I just I own this one at one time. I love this game, and it's a good test to me. Yeah, so now that button's for coins, but it sounds decent, and I mean it's still tinny. Uh, but overall, 
I don't know what it is about Final Burn Alpha games, but they just seem to work well on these kind of junky $20 systems. Um, so, really not bad, really. The music sounds okay. Um, there's really no slowdown. Um, tearing, screen tearing? Not, not really noticeable for this game. Not really. Uh, it's, it's, but it's playable. So, if you like Final Burn Alpha games, if you're real, a big fan, then you'll love this. It's a cheap way to, to play these. I mean, look at that. It looks great. <laughs> so, yeah. It's great. And I played, I played Punisher. I played a bunch of them on here. And really not, um, nothing to complain about. So, overall, though, I mean, I don't know. So, I'll just put it down for a sec. That's all there is to it. There's, you know, there's, I would say, um, the Nintendo Entertainment System and the Final Burn Alpha games, you're good to go. Everything else, meh. Unless you're playing something slow. Um, unless if you have, like, a favorite tune. You know, it, it's just, there's no, you're, I don't know. Everything else, I think, is not that great to be honest. Um, and fighting games in this thing, forget about it, because you don't know what key does what. It's it's really, everything's mapped weird, so if you're really good at, like, um, if you're really good at, like, a uh, Street Fighter, forget it. You're going to be lost. I was playing Mortal Kombat. I couldn't even get by the first, first person. It was rough, because I don't know what buttons do what. Even though it says A, B, C, X, Y, it's like all A is really, it's just all different than what you expect it to be. Um, I guess Y is A and A is A or something like that. I really need like some sort of decoder uh, ring or something to, to play this thing. So um, what else can I say about this thing? Um, one of the things they um, talk about is um, they, what do they talk about? They talk about um, that it can fit in your pocket. Like they're really desperate for... Like, oh, well, it, you know, fits well in your pocket. Um, I can't picture putting this in your pocket, but, I mean, the way that it, the way that it is, maybe if this rocker was, like, inset more, maybe it's possible. I can picture this thing getting caught. The weird shape of it is uh, the screensaver. Yeah, screensaver option. They should just advertise that, too. So, uh, but, yeah, so it's an interesting shape. I, I mean, it could have been just square, but they kind of made it look a little bit fancy. Like, it's like two different systems. Like, it could detach. If it could detach, that would be interesting. Or fold. That could be interesting. But, yeah, it's just... I don't know. I don't know. Overall, I say stay away from this one. I do like the fact that there is an SD card. So you can kind of make it a little bit better. You can add games that it doesn't have. Um, watch out when you eject this thing. Um, it's, it's a decent... It's decent, but I don't think it's good enough. I say avoid this one, unless if you're a collector, if you're a collector, go for it. What kills it for me, no headphones, and these systems just aren't, uh, it's just not good enough for what they're advertising. I would say avoid this one. So, and that's about it. I wouldn't say throw it out, but um, give it away. Give it away to somebody if you get one of these. Um, I got it as a gift, so I can't really throw it away. I don't want to. I mean, it's, I can't really, I can't, that'd be just mean... <laughs> But I do, I do like it. It's a fun toy, but what it's advertising it does. Um, Game Boy Advance, I thought, wow, if it can do Game Boy Advance, this is going to be awesome. But it can't, so. And that's about it. And thanks for watching.